Hey guys, Andre here, and I figured it's about time we take a look at what all the amiibo do in Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we're actually going to start off with the Breath of the Wild line of amiibo, since everyone's wondering what they do. So first up, let's make sure we have our rune equipped, and we'll activate it. Alright, let's go ahead and tap our amiibo to the controller. We'll start off with Archer Link. Alright, we got a bunch of uh, meat. A raw whole bird, I've not seen that, or that before, dang. Bunch of fish. A stealth fin trout. Oh, and we're opening a chest by mistake. And a royal bow, alright. Looks like it's pretty powerful. And of course my inventory is full. Go figure. Let's go ahead and empty that out real quick. Alright, we're back. I emptied out my inventory so you can see the entire stack there. Let's go open up the chest now. And then we can move on to the next amiibo. Alright. So next up we're gonna have, uh... Let's do... Uh, Rider Link, or Link Rider, whichever you want to call it. He's on a horse, that's what really matters. Alright, got a Hylian Shroom, a bunch of mushrooms even. And let's see what's inside the chest. A Royal Broadsword, alright. Doing pretty well so far, I should grab these fish. Man, I did not go fishing at all. Apparently, I didn't collect any fish based on those messages. Alright, next up, we're gonna do Princess Zelda. Alright, we'll activate Zelda, or activate the amiibo. And can't do it facing that way. Here we go. We get a bunch of flowers. And a chest. And let's see what's inside. An opal, alright. Not too bad. Okay, we'll do the uh, Book Goblin next. If I can get him off my guardian, he got hung up on one of the legs there. Alright, here we go. Come on, Book Goblin. Give us something good. Yes, lots and lots of meat. Man, I wish I could just summon meat like that from the sky. That'd be an amazing power. Best superpower ever. Yep. Dragon Bone Boko Club, alright. Yeah, these weapons are pretty decent. Okay guys, it is time for the big one being the Guardian itself. The thing is huge, it, it dwarfs the controller, Jesus. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. So those are me metal boxes, which means you can just grab them and, you know, use them in battle or whatever you want. To, you know, climb, I guess. They really are more for a battle than anything. Um, I wonder if we can even... I wonder if we can destroy these, actually. Nope. <laughs> Destroyed Link! Alright, let's open up that chest. A Guardian Spear. That is, of course, fitting, so... Very cool, alright. Now let's try the, um, Smash Slimes. We've already done the 30th Anniversary Amiibo before, so we'll save them for last. So let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go back on that. We're going to try one more. Uh, we're gonna try Minna and Wolf Link, because, um, you know, the one that came with Twilight Princess HD. And Nintendo actually sent this with us in the box, so I'm guessing it's pretty important. With the Switch, I mean. Alright. Let me turn on my Amiibo rune again. Here we go. Alright, and we have Wolf Link. Of course. So he can help us. Cool. So, yeah, you, I mean, we've seen this before. He'll help you um, take down enemies or find stuff for you to pick up. I do recall, as I recall. Alright, now let's try the Smash line of Amiibo. Let's start off with uh, Normal Link. Here we go. Oh, and we have a horse! Alright. What kind of horse is it? It has four, uh, it has four speed up icons, so four spurs, so that's awesome. Um, let's talk to him. Yeah, let's go and register it. And... Yeah, so we... Cool, so I guess we can just keep this horse permanently now? Oh, it's a Pona! The Horse of Legend! So we can't rename it. It's a Horse of Legend, so opponent it is. Aww. 
Nice. So that is Epona. That is pretty cool. That is a nice benefit of the Smash Amiibo Link. So all my horses only have uh, two spurs, so this is pretty nice. And look, there's Wolflink keeping up. You should ride Wolflink around. We will ignore the fact that there's probably lots of fan fiction <laughs> involving that. Alright. Let's uh, move on. Let's try... Let's try uh, Toon Link. From the Smash line. Oh man, the chest landed on the fish. As if they're already not suffering enough. Yeah. Yo, I don't want to talk to you. I'll open the chest and pick up that fish. Alright, fire arrows. Okay, I mean, it's better than nothing. Alright, let's try Princess Zelda from the Smash line. A bunch of herbs. And inside the chest, another opal. Alright. So it seems pretty similar to the other one, um, other Zelda. Then let's try, uh, let's try Sheik. What Sheik does. Alright, lots of mushrooms again. And inside the chest is. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Alright. Finally, from the Smash line, I. Yeah, this should be the last one. Uh, we have Ganondorf. Let's see what happens. Oh, a bunch of barrels and exploding barrel. Let's go ahead and detonate that. I forgot I need a fire arrow. Or bomb arrow. Fire arrow should do it, hopefully. There we go. And it blew my chest away. So yeah, there was some stuff inside the barrels. It blew everything away. Being rupees. Alright, let's see what's inside the chest. The upside down chest. Another opal. All right. So that's all the Smash lines. So uh, now we have all that's left are the 30th anniversary amiibo, which we kind of showed off before, but we'll do it again real quick. So we're gonna start off with uh, Princess Zelda or Toon Zelda or Tetra, I guess as well. It is Zelda, but post Tetra. Alright, got a Night Shield. Then we'll do Toon Link. It's raining, of course. It rains more than Seattle in this game. Got more fish and a Shock Arrow times five. Alright, next is Ocarina of Time Link. Lots of meat again, and a Royal Claymore. And finally, we have 8-Bit Link. So we got a bunch of barrels and bomb arrows times five. So let's see what's inside those barrels real quick. More rupees, arrows. Alright. So there you go. That are all that's all the Zelda amiibo that I could round up. I'm pretty sure that's all of them in general. I was gonna try scanning one of them again though, real quick, just to see what happens. Ignore that whistle I did by mistake. Yeah, so you can't use it again today, so I think um, we will be able to use it in at least 24 hours, or at most 24 hours from now. Uh, finally, let's try skating into something that's not a Zelda amiibo. Let's try using uh, Mario. Oh wow, it actually did give us some stuff. Alright, well now I'm curious. What else can we use? So can we just scan in any amiibo? Give me one sec, guys. Let me grab a few more. Alright, you got four more amiibo here. So let's try Toad. Alright, it doesn't be doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's try Jigglypuff. 
Oh yeah, that gave us something. So let me try. Let me try Toad again. You're like. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't have on all the way. So it just it looks like it's just giving us a random assortment of goods. We'll try Rosalina. Come on. There we go. All right, and we'll try Bowser. All right, so there you guys go. That is how amiibo work in Breath of the Wild. As you can see, it can be a pretty big benefit. You can get a lot of, a lot of stuff for nothing, if you, assuming you already own the amiibo. Um, I personally probably wouldn't use it. I'm going to actually go back to my previous save because I just won't play the game as it came. But hey, if you need some help or you want to just, you know, want free free goods or Epona, which is awesome, um, or Wolfling to follow you, you know how you do it now. So guys, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game of Swing for more on Zelda Breath of the Wild and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye.